Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? We have x squared minus x cubed equals to 36. From here, let's bring 36 to this side and this become x squared minus x cubed minus 36. Now equals to 0 from here. Then we can separate 36 as minus 9 minus 27. That will give us minus 36. So we have x squared minus x cubed minus 9 minus 27, then equals to 0. From here, we can write 9 as 3 squared and 27 as 3 cubed, and this will be x squared minus x cubed minus 3 squared minus 3 cubed equals to zero from here then in the next step let's bring the power of two together we have x square minus three square then minus x cube minus three cube then equals to zero from here then in the next step let's put this in brackets so we have these two in brackets then we factor minus out from here so we have x squared minus 3 squared in brackets, then minus out here, we have x cubed plus 3 cubed from here, then equals to 0. Then from here, we can apply the difference of two squares, that this here can be written as x plus 3, then into bracket x minus 3. Then minus here we apply sum of two key. We have x plus three now. Then into bracket x square. Then minus x times three that's three x. Then plus three square that's nine from there, which is equals to zero. Then in the next step we have x plus three common. Let's factor it out and that will give us x plus 3 into bracket. Then close bracket. Then what is left here we have x minus 3. Then we have minus into bracket x square minus 3x plus 9 left here. Then we close bracket which is equals to 0. Then from here. Let's simplify this bracket. So we have x plus 3. Then into bracket x minus 3. Then minus open this bracket. We have minus x square plus 3x. Then minus 9 equals to 0. Also from here, this can be written as x plus 3. Then open bracket. Let's write x squared first, that's minus x squared. Then x plus 3x, that's plus 4x. Then minus 3 minus 9, we have minus 12, which is equal to 0 from there. So the two cases we have here are x plus 3 equals to 0. Or we have minus x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals to Zero. On this side, we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution from here. And uh, on this side, we multiply through by minus, so as to remove this minus. So here become plus, that's x squared, then minus 4x here, then plus 12, which is equal to 0. Then when we solve this, you know, quadratic equation here we have x now equals to minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square then minus 4 times 1 times 12 then over 2 times 1 from here then here this gives us x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48 then over 2 
and uh, 16 minus 48 they give us root minus 32 and which we can write as root root minus 32 there so here we have root minus 32 then this root minus 32 can be written as 16 times 2 times minus 1 and the uh, root 16 there is 4 then out we have root 2 then root minus 1 that's r so everything here now is 4 root 2 r so here we now have x equals to 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 i which is being divided by 2 and that means here 4 divided by 2 that's 2 also here 4 divided by 2 that's 2 so here we can write it as x now equals to 4 sorry we have divided by 2 yes so that's 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 i so here we have two complex you know solutions and here we have the real solution then we can check on what we have if the you know real solution we have there let's check for that that's x equals to minus 3 when we substitute x equals to minus 3 in the equation given here so we have x squared minus st equals to 36 for x equals to minus 3 now so that will be minus 3 square then minus into back here minus 3 raised to power 3 is it equals to 36 from here then here we have when we square minus we have plus then 3 square as name then minus here when we raise minus to power 3 that's t minus then 3 raised to power 3 it was 27 from there is it equals to 36 here then when we open this bracket with minus minus times minus that's plus so we have 9 plus 27 now is it equals to 36 of course when we had this together that's 36 which is equals to 36 we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side then here we have x equals to 3 minus 3 satisfy this given problem thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on and uh, put your comment in the comment section see you next class in bye